Well, good morning. It is July 21st. Every the light. What is this lighting? I'm so sorry. I am. It is nine something in the morning. I haven't had coffee. Um, I've gotten dressed, but I it's my sleep very. I'm packing the dogs right now to take them over to my parents' house because they're going to be watching them for us while we are away. So I am just preparing all of their things. Audrey's real mad because I, um, they have their morning vitamins that they have to get, one for anxiety, one for joints, because Audrey's old. And then I made a little container of their chewy sticks to keep up with their teehees. So you guys are living the millennial dream. Um, yeah, it's leaving day, technically, in 12 hours. we um, In 12 hours, we should be on the road. So, we're gonna start vlogging. I have to pack the car. I have to cut my bangs because they're atrocious. I have to go to bed. I have to find Eunice on my island, and I would like to try and edit. Yeah, I have to edit the podcast slash video for this week. I meant to do it yesterday, and it was just too hot to sit in my office in a velvet chair. So that is my goal today is to do that. So I'm going to try and drop the dogs off a little bit earlier than I planned. That way I can just come home, edit very quickly, and then do everything else I need to do. No, I'm going to pack first, then I'm going to edit, because I'd rather have everything in the car than not. Maybe I should wait to pack everything in the car until later in the day. I don't want everything to sit in there and melt. It's so hot. It's not that hot compared to a lot of places, but it's really hot for right now. And it's like hitting worse. I don't know if it's more humid. It's not raining as much. I don't know. I'm just a sweaty mess. So this is my daytime clothes. I'll hold the dagger to my throat so I know it's a real shirt I found on TikTok during my TikTok buying phase. So yeah, I'm going to make some coffee. We don't have any, um, we have the Nespresso. We only have carafes. So I can only make a carafe of coffee. So this could get interesting. But let's get ready to go to Pin Pin's house. Yeah. Yep, very soon, guys. if I want to bring my table. I have two tables provided for me. But if I bring my table, then I could put all six shelves on tables. Um, it's sweaty. I'm disgusting. I have to cut my bangs. All right, here's our to-do list. 
it is noon. I have to edit the video and get that scheduled to go out for Saturday. I have to cut my bangs. I have to shower. I don't need to shower, but I would. I think I'm going to shower before we leave. I have to put the yarn in the car. I have to put the snacks and the drinks on the car and Barnaby in the car. I'm going to leave those until later because it's already feeling like 100 degrees and it's noon. It's not even the hottest part of the day yet, so I'm going to hold off because I don't want like the tape and all that to melt in the car, but like the shelves and something's breaking. The shelves are wooden metal, so they'll be fine in the car for a little bit and they're very easy to put in the car. The samples I'm going to wait just so they don't get like too wet. It's humid out too. I am so sweaty. I finished cleaning the kitchen. Jake needs to clean the fridge out when he gets home and go to bed. That's basically it. My, I'm hoping I can sleep for like four hours this afternoon. I didn't really sleep last night. I didn't sleep well last night, so I didn't really sleep at all last night, uh, which kind of is working out in my favor because that means I should be able to actually fall asleep for this afternoon. The hope then is that I'm not like completely nocturnal for SSK. My hair has gone completely insane. I'm not made for this weather. <laughs> and I'm um, putting stickers on my new water bottle. My plan to cast on all my knits before leaving is out the window. I'm just going to find the needles and make little kits, put everything in a couple of project bags and throw it in my backpack. That's the plan. We're gonna have some pretty chill times right after SSK because we've both just been completely insane with work. So we're not jam packed with plans. Most of our plans involve eating food. So yeah, we're just, we're there to chill. That's it. So I'm gonna do that. I charge my battery, edit the video for the Saturday. So I will check in with you probably before I take a nap. I try to get footages, footages? I try to get video of the dogs uh, when I dropped them off at my parents' house. But it's so hot that everyone started throwing up. So it was not a cute video. I will not show you. They're fine now. They're in AC. They've got water. They're chilling. They were just so excited to be at mom and dad's that um, they tried to run around outside <clears throat> in this heat. So. I will see you soon. It's, I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty already. Oh, it's so off. What's up, yarn bros? Uh, making our way down to Nashville. We just left. It's dark out. You might, you can't see anything. <laughs> but we're in the car, I swear. And we're on our way to Nashville to go to SSK, which stands for... Super Summer Knit Together. That's right, SSKT, my bad. So, uh, it's going to be a good time, um, and then we're going to have uh, some fun in Nashville and in Memphis, we're going to eat some food, um, it's going to be, it's going to be great, it's going to be great. We made it through one tank of gas, it's 2 o'clock, we're in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing and go to sleep, and now Jake's gonna drive. Wave. <laughs> uh, we got in before noon somehow, I think. 11. 
I don't know, we're in central time now. So everything's just off to be annoying. So we're gonna go grab some food and then hopefully be able to just immediately go over and set up for SSK and um, then fall asleep for like 12 hours, hopefully. It is SSK morning. It is hot. I am wearing mohair and I'm sweating profusely already. But we are, we're gonna go get ready. The marketplace starts in about an hour. So let's go do yarn things. Sunday, the 24th. Uh, we are in Nashville today. We are officially on vacation now. The marketplace yesterday went amazing. It was so much fun. It was so good to see so many people that I like haven't seen since the last SSK or just haven't seen in a show in a hot minute or met for the first time but have talked to on the internet. So yeah, I am very excited. Jake and I are off to go get breakfast. Today is basically an eating day. Um, he has all the plans. The food part is his his favorite part. So we're gonna go get breakfast, we're gonna go hunt Pokemon, we're gonna go get some hot chicken, we're gonna, I think we're gonna go to Broadway and explore a little bit, do some shopping. Um, I know I wanna go back to the Goo Goo Cakes thing. I think that's what it's called. I know it's by the Johnny Cash Museum. I think we have dinner reservations tonight. So yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of walking and a lot of sweating and a lot of Pokemoning and a lot of really good food. And I'm super excited. So yeah. I slept for like 12 hours. I'm ready. The hair is gonna go up in about 45 seconds. I've got on my salty air, um, boots and wool socks because I don't own con socks anymore, but I know we're gonna be walking and my feet are not gonna handle flats very well in a city. So.
<laughs> yeah. so happy. Yep. <laughs> We're home. It is Tuesday. August 2nd? I don't know. We have uh, yeah, to unpack the yarn. That's our job today. I just want to do like a quick ending to the vlog and show you what I got. Yeah, I'm tired. It's really hot here. I'm just still exhausted. My hair is doing crazy things. So let me just show you what I got and what I worked on. What is this? It's not even a hot day this week. It's supposed to be like, oh, I don't know, almost 100 on Friday or something. Terrible. Too tall. All right, let's back up. Okay, so, hi, the dogs are home. I have missed them so much. You guys remember doing this on the floor way back when? I did finish my cloudberry tea. It is quite wrinkly. This is a tea by the Fiber Tails in, it's a DK weight t-shirt. Uh, and I did Rexeria as the main color and this is on my pole DK base, which is 100% Polworth super wash. And then I did Thunder Moon and Leather Bound as the little um flowers i haven't been able to wear it it's just been too hot but i am going to um take the tag off and go put it in my wardrobe but it will be coming to indie with me as well as yeah being well worn by me because i can't wait to wear it i wish it wasn't a billion degrees outside you and i don't like it it was a very good vacation but it was not i wouldn't say relaxing is the word <clears throat> to describe it. You may need to put you up here. Hold on. Oh, this is fine. You're just going to be super tall. So at SSK, I did do some shopping. I got the Cryptids soap set from Tufts Woolen. And I also got some new um, wool wash because I didn't realize I had like five bars of wool wash already. So I'm don't let me buy wool wash anymore. Uh, they're all in the bathroom, so I just don't want to go get them. But I did get some new to me dyer, and I'm obsessed with this yarn. I want everything she does. Um, I'm not one for like pastelis or light colors, so this is probably the lightest color I would get from her. She does a lot of like like pinks and creams and tans and fawns, and but she's got a couple like this mo like this warm tan mauve. And she's got like a slightly darker, like, I think it's called chicory. Is this chicory? No, this is Delia. I think there's one other color that's slightly darker than this. And this is Camilla Fibers. She is a Nashville local. I will link to all of her things. And this is Alpaca Silk and Cashmere. It's a non super wash. I'm obsessed. I don't remember the name of the sweater, but I found this designer while looking for patterns that are in worsted weight so like there was pattern recommendations for the travelers worsted pre-orders and I found the sweater I hope it's on the screen and I'm gonna knit that out of this and I'm so excited I can't wait I don't know when I'm gonna cast it on I don't know what I'm gonna pair it with I just need I don't know I don't know I'm just so excited for it I don't I'm so I'm just so excited for it I got three skeins. I think that's going to be enough. If not, she has stuff online and I think she does wholesale with a, with the House of Yarn in Nashville. If I remember correctly, I think I saw her stuff on their website. I did not go to House of Yarn. Again, I have now been to Nashville twice and have never been to that shop. 
it was just so hot that all of our extra time that we would have allotted to like driving to places it, we just slept we just slept and showered it was so hot anyway the next place I went was Woolens and Nosh. They were across the way from me at Indian Tangled last year and so I got to talk to her for a little bit and then we kind of like kept running into each other at Rhinebeck. Oh my god I love all of her stuff. So I got her SSK colorway which is day hiking and I got this in... The dogs downstairs are going crazy. Great nope dear great pumpkin in her DK weight which is just 100% uh, superwash merino. I just... I wanted a pumpkin colorway. I went for this, but this might be my uh, pumpkin mail for this year. I don't know. I just, I mean, it just, I just, I, also DK weight socks fly by. So there we go. The last place that I went to was Geektastic Fibers. I actually got to hang out with Amanda for a little bit. Uh, we got dinner after the marketplace and I love her so much. So she, did uh this is called the cursed colorway this is her superhero sock 7525 superwash merino nylon self-striping and i how could i not how could i not this is so good you it's very i'll try and like insert a picture i probably oh there we go there's a little bit it's just ugh. i guess um it was one of those situations where like so a dog bumped into her and then dye went everywhere and then she got a much darker color than she planned but I'm here to reap the benefits. Jake did not get anything. He walked around a couple times but nothing really caught his eye. I, he wasn't he wasn't really looking. I think he was like just talking to people more than he usually does too. But uh, like he made friends with the um Leaning Men Fiber Arts husbands so they were just off being our husbands together for a while. I did get some fiber. Uh, this was mostly because I was staring. So the back of their display was facing us. So I was staring at this for the entire day. And this is by Spotted Circus. Uh, and this is Merino and Firestar. It's called Audrey. Leave it. Do not. If you're going to look out the window and yell, don't even look at the window. Audrey, be outside. Come here. Sit down. Sit. Thank you. This is Superwash. Nope. Just Merino and Firestar in the colorway oil slick. And my plan with this, let me go grab her. Ooh. I'm not. Amy's hand. My plan is to spin her with this Akara Yarns Black Fire Opal. Superwash Merino Gold Stellina braid that I got. I don't know if I showed you this. I don't think I did. I think I ran out of time. This was my dream tour de fleece knitting. <laughs> I did no, I did no spinning for tour de fleece. I didn't even get fiber out. It was, oh, I had big dreams that I did not do. So my plan is to spin these two together because I just feel like this has so much, um, like, of these colors in here and then I would just have like one big super sparkly skein. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it after that but I'm not one for knitting with my hand spun but I really like spinning it. And now I just have a bin of hand spun I don't know what to do with. Yes that is what we got. Um, we got a couple extra things here and there like I got Jake uh, a t-shirt from Dyer's Burgers in Memphis, which was like the reason why we went to Memphis. We did the National Civil Rights Museum, which was, I don't want to say a ton of fun. It was very informative and I would highly recommend anybody and everybody who goes to Memphis go to that. It took us about three hours to walk through it. Yeah, Memphis I just kind of like stopped recording because again, it was like 110 degrees plus humidity. It was so hot the last couple days. And by the time we got to Virginia, so we went from Memphis to Virginia just because that was the exact halfway point between Memphis and home, and we were just gunning to get home at that point. So the vlog sort of died off after that. But I did finish some things. Well, on the trip, I cast on and finished two hats. So these are the hats for our friends who are having their second baby at the end of mid next month in like three weeks three or four weeks I think. 
So this is a Felici's Worsted in the Rustic Cabin colorway and the Zen colorway and I just did like the folded brim pearl Soho Worsted hat pattern. It's free on their website. I will leave a link. Uh, the first one I just did like two inches of ribbing and then the hat and then this one I did the four inches of ribbing to fold it. I don't doesn't really matter to me who gets who um, but I figured I'd give them at least a different option so then if they want a super long one to put their hair in they can if they just want a regular one they've got that. So I started and finished both of those and I am I did bring the um, what's this called? Flax Light. <laughs> I'm knitting the 6 to 12 month size and I just did a garter sleeve cap because the end. I didn't really want to do a sleeve and garter stitch. That was mostly it. I thought about doing the sleeves and garter stitch but I didn't want to purl on the round. So I'm on the second sleeve. I have one more stripe and then the cuff and then this one is done. This is the bookshop colorway in Felici from Knit Picks super easy. Um, I did work on this. We went to our friend has like a yearly barbecue in the summer for friends and family. So we went to that and um, our friend who was expecting did see it and was like, oh my god, I love that sweater color. And I was like, great, it's for you. So perfect. <laughs> so she does know she's getting this. She doesn't know that she's getting the hats or the cardigan I'm going to cast on for their um, two year old. So I have to cast, uh, I'm hoping I can finish this probably tonight. I probably can. Maybe this afternoon before I go over their house. And I did, I brought and I worked on my High Tide Shell by Lindsay Fowler of Larkspur Knits. I am about to separate for the front and the back. I am doing a slightly cropped version. That way the, so how it's going to end is this will be this is gonna end, uh, I don't know how to describe this. This ends right above my hip bones, so this covers my hip bones. So like if I don't have high-waisted pants or a skirt on, it's still gonna cover it. But if I wear it with a dress, it's gonna cinch me in at my waist and still like be fitted. So I am doing a more fitted cropped version than um, what she knit for the pattern. <sighs> and I love the colors so much. It is. Nightmares Plus 10, Yugen and Previous Yarn Engagement, and this is on my Traveler's Worsted Base, which is just the roundest, squooshiest, non superwash targi ever. I am almost at a point where I need to dip into my second ball of Nightmares Plus 10, but I think I can definitely get through the back without having to cake it up. And then we just have to, Jake would like a more fitted one as well, which I was not expecting. I thought he was going to want a little bit more ease. So we have to um, have him try on the shirt that he plans on wearing underneath it and measure him so I can cast his on too. So we can wear them to Indian Tangled and I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited as I keep almost pulling the needles out. I think that's it. I think that's everything I worked on. Yeah, I didn't bring too much. I mean, I brought a lot of yarn. Yeah, but I did finish two projects while I was gone. So yeah, that's that's the vlog wrap up. I now have to put all this yarn away and clean my office a little bit and not get distracted. I also got, I, I did some more thrifting when I got home. I got this mirror. It's from the early to mid 1930s. There's a consignment store down the street from us, so I've been eyeballing this thing for months. I have to, the like shims, the pieces holding the mirror in, one is cracked so the mirror is on the wrong side of it, so we do have to try and go in and like take out the old wood. Yeah, the frame is original, the mirror itself is not, but as you can kind of see, like the mirror is not flush with the frame, but just on the top. So we have to take out the pieces like bracing the mirror into the frame and redo those. So I think I just need to order a new like staple gun because mine's too wide. I don't have the one with like the little U's and clean it up a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to paint it at this point. I kind of like the aged look. But I might see if there's anything. There's a couple cracks. It seems fine. I'm sorry. Audrey's looking her toes like right behind me. 
as long as it doesn't get jostled too much like it seems pretty I don't know it seems fine uh, I'm just gonna clean it up I'm not gonna paint it yeah but I did I have to take these apart and paint it not paint them um clean them up still so yeah I don't know uh I'm hoping to do that soon I want to get at least one of these mirrors hung uh, over the weekend because now I just have if you want to see more videos like this slash everything I do on this channel feel free to subscribe we put out videos three Saturdays a month and I will see you in the next one goodbye